welcome back to Kate's Cottage Daily Life number 3 vlog. I start out of the morning cleaning up my room. I do this to help with my severe OCD that I've really recently diagnosed with. I'd like to help break the myth that OCD means everything is neat and tidy in your room. Everything is neat and tidy for everyone else in the house, not for me. OCD makes me mess up my room and this is how it looks afterwards. I feel much better and I can cope more during the day if you have a tidy room and a neat bed. This is a mini thrift haul. I got this beautiful little teapot from my grand. She collects teapots and she said she didn't like this one. How could she? It's so beautiful. So I have it now on my little um, vanity stand. It looks so gorgeous with the flowers and the little chain on. Next, I got this beautiful little wooden chest from a hospice shop nearby and it's where I keep all my little valuables and all the valuables but pretty little things that I find and collect and keep. Next I got these beautiful South African um, flower books and gardening books. Um, I know they might be a bit outdated but I got them just because of their beautiful vintage flower pages and drawings and paintings of the beautiful flowers we can find here in South Africa. I think they're so beautiful and they have that old book smell which is so nice and I just think they screamed cottage call when I saw them so I had to get them. I did struggle to put them back in the box here as you'll see. <laughs> One of the reasons I'm uploading this video quite a bit after actual Christmas Eve is because some of the presents that you'll see in this video that I'm busy making or crafting such as this beautiful memories box for my boyfriend cannot be shown obviously until after Christmas is done. Um, then I moved on to making this uh, beautiful poster that says there's always something to be thankful for and I think it's just something to live by each day. I know I'm not always grateful for what I have um, and life can be very hard sometimes and sometimes I don't feel like getting out of bed but this is definitely something that I want to remind myself of so hopefully I can put it up in my room. So you can see I had to swap between many different black markers as they kept running out with me trying to colour in this canvas um, but it did work after a while and it looks beautiful. As you can see here, I'm crocheting my grandmother a Christmas presents. I'm making her little coasters for her lounge that I'll be lining with a pink and blue border later on. I think they'll go really well with her lounge and her coasters she does have are getting a bit old so I thought she might need some new ones and I could crochet them for her. I was also eating some delicious homemade jammies that she made for me while I was creating them. Towards the end of the day, Fabra Maalsha sadly sank in and I was not having a fun time. I can be seen here just in my comfortable pajamas, crocheting my shrug that I'm meant to be wearing tomorrow for Christmas. Um, and I hope I'm feeling better by the time Christmas actually comes around because right now I'm not feeling the joys of life. My whole body is in pain and it's even difficult to walk around but at least I can sit quietly with a blanket and crochet as my hands are not in too much pain. I hope I can get the shrug finished by tomorrow um, as this is part of my Christmas outfit. so much for watching my video i hope you like and subscribe sorry that there's no ending and it's just an end card because fiber miles i was not having a good day so i didn't actually record a thank you at the end but really thank you for watching and sticking around if you made it to the end of the video please like subscribe and maybe share it to your friends thank you bye